it was determined at that time uh, and after that we were not having a uh, successful communication between the computers. It was suspected originally that it was the backup computer uh, that was having the problem. And then after many hours of work by uh, 50 to 100 uh, computer experts uh, here and at Houston, it was determined that there was a timing skew or a timing problem between two of the four uh, primary computers and the backup computer. The two computers simply tried to talk about 40 milliseconds, 40 thousandths of a second too early to the backup computer, and it said uh, that's not the right time to do that, and it hung up the phone. Uh, however, the, uh, in the meantime, we have gotten the, the computers restarted, uh, properly timed, and they have been running uh, ever since that point, and they will continue to run uh, throughout the mission. At no time would more than two computers be shut down, and the uh, computer experts determined that that particular problem uh, never occurs once the computers are up and running and timed properly, uh, unless they are all shut down and then restarted, and only rarely uh, does that problem appear then. But as it is, everything going along very smoothly as we come up on the T minus 15 minute point in the countdown. T minus 15 minutes mark. This is shuttle launch control. And uh, be off market. Transmitting AB on. Okay, and market A off. And be off. Okay, STD, that's 100%. That's okay, copy. Double OS, how you doing? We're in work. Thanks a lot for program update. Okay. Bill Sells, how you doing on your purge? Doing okay. I mean, OS done. About 30 seconds. All right. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 11 minutes, 45 seconds, and counting. Everything going very smoothly in the countdown at this point. The booster test conductor ordered the gaseous nitrogen purge of the solid rocket booster aft skirts to begin. The Chase aircraft presently at Patrick Air Force Base have been ordered to start their engines, and a check with all the test support team members has verified that they are go for launch. Uh, the main propulsion helium subsystem cockpit switches have been configured for launch, and the helium tank isolation valves are open. In just a few seconds, another check of the aboard advisory system will be conducted. This is a uh, visual signal that would go to the astronauts uh, if it were necessary for them to abort. We're getting within a couple of minutes now of the final build-in hold that comes at the T-minus nine-minute point in the countdown and last for a duration of 10 minutes. One of the first things that will happen in that uh, particular hold will be the retraction of the Gox vent arm or beanie cap uh, out of the way. That has uh, been up on top of the external tank. Uh, it has warm uh, gaseous nitrogen, which is used to prevent any buildup of ice uh, from the venting of the liquid oxygen tank. At the uh, present time, we're at T-minus 10 minutes, 23 seconds, and counting. This is shuttle launch control. SCP and EPD, how you doing? Up to about uh, 270. Stand by 30 seconds. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 9 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. Just a few seconds away now from our final build-in hold 
at the T minus nine minute point in our countdown. Managers are being polled uh, to determine if we are ready to uh, go ahead. Uh, we've had confirmation from DOD support that contingency support aircraft and personnel are on station and ready to support the launch. About five seconds away now from that final nine minute build in hold. We're at T minus nine minutes and holding. This is the final 10 minute build in hold. All personnel in the firing room have been asked to remain seated and no smoking rule has gone into effect through the launch. We have had a uh, report from the orbiter test conductor or to the orbiter test conductor that they are go for launch. At the present time, we know of no major problems as we enter this final 10 minute build in hold. One of the first events which will occur during this hold will be the retraction of the Gox Ven arm and we are waiting for uh, the command to do that at the present time. T minus nine minute end holding, this is shuttle launch control. Stand by, 30 seconds. This is shuttle launch control at T minus nine minutes and holding. The Gox Ven arm or beanie cap has just been retracted and will be moved to the side momentarily. Uh, at that point, uh, we'll have uh, several important milestones still remaining uh, in the, the countdown. When we come out of the, uh, the count or come out of the hold and begin the count once again, the ground launch sequencer will take over command of the remaining events as well as monitoring the shuttle system's response. At T minus seven minutes, the orbiter access arm will retract. At T minus five minutes, the auxiliary power units will be started. At T minus four minutes, a purge of the main engines will start. And at T minus two minutes and 55 seconds, liquid oxygen pressurization will begin at one minute and 57 seconds, liquid hydrogen pressurization, uh, pre pressurization will start. And at T minus 28 seconds, the redundant set sequencer will take over. At that point, events happen far too quickly and readings of systems must be done too fast for humans to perform. At the present time, we're waiting for uh, NASA test director George Page, our launch director, uh, to uh, uh, say a few words uh, to the crew about the procedures which will be followed. The, the gaseous oxygen vent arm, uh, the cap has been uh, retracted and the arm is uh, just about to move away from uh, the external tank. At the present time, everything going very, very smoothly. The gaseous oxygen vent arm now is moving back to the retract position, getting it out of the way so that the orbiter can lift off uh, at the and clear the tower properly. The launch director coming up to speak to the crew. Launch director is uh, talking to his team about the launch commit criteria at the present time. 